Well, NVIDIA fucked me. They really and truly fucked me. I've been using NVIDIA Game Stream and Moonlight for the better part of a year now, and NVIDIA recently announced they're going to remove the feature soon. Well, they announced it a little while ago, and I'm just now getting around to migrating to a different option. Work your Kirk late to the party? Imagine that shit. Anywho, NVIDIA has suggested that I return to Steam Link, but honestly, that would be a little more trouble to set up than I'm willing to go through. I considered moving to Parsec, but that requires authentication to a third-party service, and I'm really not feeling that either. Nothing really does the bare basic just stream and input thing that GameStream does. Wait, what's that? Could it be... An open source implementation of GameStream? One that's being actively developed? One that I can use to replace GameStream right now? Oh, hallelujah! Sunshine is here! Yes. Sunshine is an open source implementation of NVIDIA's GameStream protocol, and one that's undergoing a lot more development since the announcement of GameStream's deprecation. I've heard some mixed opinions on Sunshine compared to GameStream native, but the 0.18 release seems to improve things a lot. So with GameStream dying and Sunshine being the next best thing for my specific use case, I thought it might be nice to try installing this and recording the process, as well as giving it some test runs. Note, I'm not going to actively benchmark it because I'm not scientific enough, but I will be doing some before and after footage and talking about it to see if maybe I notice extra input lag or video oddities. Let's not get ahead of ourselves though, we have to install the software first. If you're following along at home, Sunshine can be found at github.com slash lizardbyte slash sunshine. Don't worry about any of that, all the links can be found in the description below. I'm just going to navigate over here to releases and get the most recent Windows release. And I'm just going to get the zip file. Let that go. I'm also going to grab this other program by Lizardbyte, uh, GSMS Game Stream Migration Software. I'm not sure really what the S stands for. Ah, Game Stream Migration Service. There we go. I'm going to grab this too. What this does, if you're already running GameStream, it basically copies all the box art and custom programs and games and stuff from your existing GameStream to the Sunshine side. Not strictly necessary if you're just installing Sunshine by itself, but I, I want to go ahead and grab this for uh, future usage. And the last thing I'm going to grab is this VIGEM bus. This is a dependency for Sunshine to allow you to use uh, controllers and gamepads and stuff. Uh, pretty much any issue I've seen anybody have with uh, Game Stream or uh, with uh, Sunshine, excuse me, is related to not having this installed. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that, and that's all the software we need to set up Sunshine and replace Game Stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I guess the first thing that I should do would be to turn off game stream. So I'm going to go to NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Wait three years for this to turn on. Oh man, if this makes me update, that would suck. Oh, you son of a bitch. We'll be right back. Okay, now that that's over, we're finally in NVIDIA GeForce Experience. And you can see all the games that are on here that are pre-configured and stuff that we'll transfer later. But anyway, that's not why we're here. We need to go to Settings and Shield. And that's Big Box, the custom app that we really want to bring over with that migration service. And we're going to turn off Game Stream, and I'm going to get kicked out immediately. Right. Because I had to remote in through Moonlight to turn off Game Stream instead of RDP. Because for some reason, if your PC doesn't detect the GPU being actively used, then GeForce Experience won't let you edit shield settings. And evidently, whenever you RDP into a computer, your GPU isn't recognized because it uses the Windows digital display adapter, some other nonsense. Anyway, game stream is turned off. Now let's RDP back into the machine and get some more stuff done. All right, so earlier you guys saw me go to the GitHub page for Sunshine and grab the sunshinewindows.zip file. For most users, I'm going to recommend doing the sunshinewindows.exe instead. It makes the install process a heck of a lot easier because you don't have to actually manually install that controller dependency we talked about earlier. So 
For this video, and honestly because I'm lazy, I'm going to be doing that method myself. So we're going to go down to our downloads folder here and run the Sunshine Windows EXE. By default, this go ahead, this goes ahead, excuse me, and runs the install as a service. Um, that makes it so that whenever you reboot your computer, Sunshine starts automatically. So it, it makes your life a little bit easier. So go ahead and install. By default, it's in C program file slash sunshine. And you can make up start mini folder if you want to. I don't care. I want all this stuff here in case I decide to use it later. And about halfway through, it's going to ask... Well, first, it's going to throw you to the documentation page. Very helpful. And then it'll ask if you want to install that VIGEM bus, the uh, controller support. So you want that if you're going to be using controllers on your game server. So go ahead and throw that on there. Oh, it just throws you to the uh, <laughs> it just throws you to the download page. Never mind. So you do still have to install that manually. So <laughs> ignore me. Um, agree to the license terms and conditions. This one shouldn't take long to install. And we're good. All right. So that's the sunshine, and that's the core components of this setup, and it's ready to go. As soon as you install this, you're going to want to open your web browser and navigate to HTTPS colon slash slash localhost colon 47990. And it's going to be like, oh, it's a security risk. It doesn't have a certificate because why would you have one on here? Got the risk and continue. And you have to create a username and password for accessing the web UI. The web UI is going to be used for... Um, excuse me. It's going to be used for uh, pairing uh, client devices, uh, custom applications, and a whole bunch of other nice stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the pin page because we're going to need that shortly. Um, so yeah, actually, let's test this out before we go further on anything. Uh, so we open Moonlight on my laptop desktop. That's the old one, so it's not going to show up. You can go ahead and remove that. And this is the new one. And please enter 5398. So we go back to that web page. Uh, and enter 5398. Send. And success. Check Moonlight to continue. And we can see that we have it added. And Moonlight by default, or excuse me, uh, Sunshine by default gives you the desktop stream app and the Steam Big Picture Mode uh, stream app. These are really nice. One feature I can say that I like on Sunshine as opposed to NVIDIA Game Stream Native is you can actually log in on Moonlight this way. In Game Stream, what I had to do, you already had to have your your uh, like local console logged into. So I had to go in through Steam Link, which allows you to log in, uh, log in through Steam Link, and then launch my programs through Moonlight. So this makes things a little bit easier. Uh, we'll get in here in a minute, but I want to try and migrate that big box program over, which is like, if you saw the last video, it's our primary front end and how I play games and stuff. Um, there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do in here uh, if things aren't working quite the way you like it. You can like change encoder settings uh, if you're crazy and really dedicated. I'm not going to mess with this too much um, unless I feel a need to, which we'll see later. But I don't anticipate too much needing to be done on this side. But I wanted to point it out in case you needed any of this stuff. Um, also, uh, the troubleshooting tab is really helpful if you want to uh, force close apps in Moonlight or restart Sunshine. Uh, if you want to just do it all from one single pane of glass, it's nice to have um yeah that's pretty much all there is we'll probably be coming back to this application page in a minute but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so i'm going to open a command prompt as administrator and we're going to try and do that uh game stream migration service first though i want to figure out where the apps.json file is uh if we go to program files sunshine there is one in assets, but I believe this is supposed to stay static. I think this is just here in case you decide, in case you screw up the actual apps.json. You can just copy this over. 
and if you look inside of it you can see all it is is just a fancy formatted text file for the apps that the program is using and the commands that it opens and so on and so forth uh, you shouldn't need to edit this manually ever but in case you do it's it's there um, but to find the one that the program is actually using I believe it's under config yeah this is the one that the program actually uses so we're going to do is we're going to cd into c colon slash users slash the user of my machine slash downloads and I think that's where I kept the yeah so it's gsms.exe dash a because we have to spe specify the json file even if you do it through the regular ex or through the uh, exe installer for sunshine it does not keep the default location that it expects the apps.json file to be I don't know why that's the case, but it it is. So we have to specify, I'm just gonna copy this path, screw typing. Copy, paste, slash apps.json, and it's ended in double quotes. And we will click enter. And found the apps.json file, found the game stream app big box, blah, 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 blah. Completed importing NVIDIA game stream apps. And cool. So now if we open this apps.json file, we should see, yep, you can see BigBox has been added. Cool, cool, cool. Now, uh, close out of that, close out of that. <clears throat> so now we should be able to relaunch Moonlight on the client side. And it's not showing. We might need to restart the service. Eh. Let me go back to the applications page. Okay, it shows here. Um, let's restart Sunshine just for fun. And then I will... Boop. And Big Box shows up. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I anticipate this won't work because I had an issue with this a while ago when I tested it out the first time, but I think I know how to fix it now. So starting Big Box and error zero, and I'm going to be willing to bet that it's not going to launch. So what I had to do to fix this last time was I had to go to Applications, Big Box, and go under Edit. And Application Name and Output are fine. Um, I had to set the Big Box EXE to a detached command. And what that means is it runs the command and it doesn't try to hook anything into it. It just runs it and then it streams the, the, um, the output of the screen. Uh, so it, it doesn't matter. Steam, I believe, also has to work this way. Um, I think what I read, and I'm going to be misquoting something I'm sure here, is that if you run the command in CMD and the command prompt stays open, you can do it the way that they want it here, where it's command and working directory. But if the command prompt closes, then you want to set it as a detached command. So if we run uh, this as a detached command, enter the, the full path of the application and click the plus, because you have to do that. <laughs> Took me a little while to figure that out too. And then it gets added as a detached command. And you can have multiple detached commands if you want to do some really fancy, cool stuff. But like I said, we're just trying to load uh, big box EXE. Okay, so we edited that. I'm going to give Sunshine another restart. It's not necessary, I don't think, but just to say I did it. Applications, edit, and you can see that it did save correctly, all I needed. Um, so then I'm going to attempt to, I think I need to log in locally first, so I'm actually going to do it through uh, Steam Link. So let me get my phone for just a moment. And we got disconnected from RDP because I logged in via Steam Link, which makes sense. So now I have a local session. Uh, I'm going to exit out of Moonlight and reopen it real quick. And we're going to attempt to launch Big Box again. And starting Big Box. And I got remoted in. And Big Box launches clear as day. Awesome. So she just works. Um. The only thing that's semi-negative about this is the fact that if you set it as a detached command and you quit the session, 
through Moonlight, it doesn't quit the app. It just removes the session. So if you quit the session and then try to launch the app again, what'll happen is it'll try and launch another instance of the app. For most things, it doesn't matter. Big Box especially, it won't let you run two simultaneous instances. But some things, that might be a problem. I know Sunshine is aware that a lot of apps have weird quirks when it comes to launching through Sunshine the quote normal way. So I'm sure over time this is going to get better. But in the event you also have this issue, try running it as a detach command and see if that gets you going. So yeah, we have Sunshine set up and I guess the only thing left to do is to uh, test some stuff out and see if it works on par with Sun with uh, NVIDIA GameStream native. All right, let's run through a little bit of B-roll then. So yeah, all in all, Sunshine seems to be right on par with NVIDIA GameStream native in terms of latency at 1080-60. Any video oddities I've had on it, I'm willing to chalk up to my laptop having kind of a crappy Wi-Fi antenna. I will admit that the install slash setup process is a little more complicated than GameStream native, especially if you have a custom front end. But if you use Steam Big Picture mode like 90% of people are probably going to, I think most people will be able to set this up no problem. Anyway. That was the migration process for GameStream to Sunshine. Hope this is helpful to all the folks out there, or at the very least, I hope it was interesting for you all. I hope you stick around on the channel. I've got a couple video ideas in the pipeline for next time, so be ready for that. Anywho, thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel like it, and I hope to see you next time around.